Yo guys, what is up everyone? This is Kirin here. Welcome back to Tech Kirin YouTube channel. This is in my hands is Redmi Note 8. Uh, Oxygen OS, the latest build based on Android version 11 is here, which right now we have installed in our Redmi Note 8. It's a unified build, so can be installed on Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T both. This is a new build, which is the newest one, fully newest one, OnePlus 8 latest based on Android 11. Was one of the most awaited rooms for all the devices and for Redmi Note 8 it's now available. I've used it for some time, battery backup stats, performance and everything in this video I'm gonna share with you. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so here comes some normal basic details. This has the Renovit Ice version 2.0 included, included the Cyberpunk theme. This is OnePlus 8 Android version 11 custom room. It seems to be really interesting one. The best thing is some major bugs are working with some major things are perfectly working is fine, which means you can say no major bugs at all. But yes, some still some bugs are available, which I'm going to share with you in this video. First of all, it's OnePlus. Of course, the Oxygen OS launcher is pre-installed oneplus launcher is pre-installed which is quite good here it has the oneplus look oneplus 8 like settings the ui as you can see the red option available yes of course these can be easily customized under settings customizations but it seems to be really interesting one talking about the performance um in my case i'm using redmi note 8's 4gb variant and in 4gb variant oneplus oxygen os does not seem to be working really fluid but yes, some guys were reporting in 6GB RAM variant to OnePlus builds are quite good. I didn't like personally OnePlus builds on my Redmi Note 8's 4GB RAM variant because it does not handle the OnePlus apps and all like that. It's just my opinion. It's not about you. If you are using OnePlus and you are feeling good with 3GB RAM even, then it's quite good for you and you can install this. But in my case, in these kind of scrolling speeds, it does not have any kind of issues. But in my case, after using for some time, I got to notice that after using the multitasking for some time, the multitasking seems to be heavy and it does not seem to be really fluid for me. It's just about my preferences as I previously told you. It has a OnePlus launcher pre-installed and this latest OnePlus has the wallpapers options where we have the cyberpunk wallpaper option. The cyberpunk live wallpaper is still available and, and be easily selected here. As you can see the cyberpunk live wallpaper is available and which is working fine. So no issues in the cyberpunk live wallpaper. It also includes the cyberpunk latest live theme if you go for the customization. If you go for the theme option here we have the cyberpunk theme option available and yes the cyberpunk theme seems to be really nice it just only works with the dark theme so this is the main thing which you need to focus on and your quick settings are looking quite great and impressive let's take a brief look at the franco kernel manager battery stats with the default kernel as you can see active drain is more than 11 percent per hour for me it's not really good and also for others it's not good too more than 11 percent of active drain within one hour which is a little bit of disappointing but yes you can install some custom kernels you can try out the 16 kernel you can try out inception kernel if you want to install some custom kernels it's up to you let me go back to default theme I'm going to share with you some little bit of things more about this build. If you go for the settings and if you're here, if you go to the customization section, we have the ASIN color related customizations options available. You have the option to customize your default ASIN color like this one, or you can choose the blue one. You can choose the whatever else you want to choose. It's just up to you. If you want to choose this, click on save. It should work fine without any issues. I hope so. I've never tried it, but yes, it should work. And yes, it's working fine here. So issues available here and there. You can easily change these kind of things. Moving on to other things, system icons related customizations, icon pack related customizations. It also includes a cyberpunk icon pack, which is only good if you use a dark theme. And as I previously told you, I don't use dark theme much. So I will choose the normal oxygen icon pack here, which is working fine here. Wallpapers I've already shown you, clog, etc. It's available here. Horizon light is available. Horizon light is working fine. If you, if you get any kind of notifications, the horizon light looks really good. You can customize that to whatever color you are looking for. For example, gold, red, purple, or we have the neon color. We have the blue color. The neon one looks better and cool. So that's why I will enable this one. Fonts, of course, one plus layered fonts are available here, which are working perfectly fine. Let's take a look at some default apps. Look, we have the, all the OnePlus 8 apps available, file manager, gallery, games, all these things are from OnePlus and looking quite good. By default, you don't get any kind of camera available. In my case, I tried to install two Gcams and both the Gcams have one single problem which I faced so far. 
I have tried to install the Gcam Greatness Edition build. I have tried to install the Gcam 8.1 also. For example, if I open this one, this is a Gcam Greatness Edition. It took a lot of time to open this. I tried to open it from some time and it took a lot of time while opening. Not every time, but sometimes it's just stuck there and takes some time to open and click photos. I'm not sure if it's just in my case in 4GB RAM variant or for others also, but in my case, yes, it is. I tried this Gcam 8.1 also, as you can see, it will take a lot of time to open this, but after that, it will open and click photos without any issues. As you can see, it's opened successfully, but it took a lot of time. So for me, it's kind of a bug, but maybe you can try out other Gcams that will work fine for you. I, did, I tried both of these two Gcams. Those were the results I just wanted to let you know. Gallery, etc. Internet sound tiles options available, so which means you can easily turn your device into silent mode or vibration mode or whatever else. Other things, messaging apps, etc. Notes, all those OnePlus apps are available, recorder, etc. It comes with the rice mode, so yes, you can check out some rice tweaks also, but rice tweaks will only work if you have the Magisk, which means you need a root for that. And in my case, I've tried to install the latest Magisk version as it's based on Android version 11, so not sure if you have installed the latest version, which means if you are installing Magisk A A11 or Magisk latest 21.4. In my case, I've installed the Magisk 21.4 by default it was working or not i don't know but if it is not working for you you need to install magisk a11 the modded magisk version and after that you can install this latest version for better information you can check out my video i have a video on that one too moving on to the safety net status let me just try out my safety net status and let me show you and as you can see if you saw my these animations these are the options which you can enable in settings in renovate settings rise mode as it's a rise mode so it can be easily adjusted also in in this way i didn't got any issues with wi-fi or etc sometimes it's just stuck but most of the times it's working fine the speed etc has no issues as you can see wi-fi is connecting fine without any kind of issues in the previous builds there was some issues for me only i don't know why but yes i got some issues there but else after that it was working fine here with the fix or whatever else this one is the thing which we have installed so far let me show you my safety net status if it is passing or not by default it's not passing let me show you just a second and after some time you will see that by default as you can see the attestation is failed which means it's not passing and this is the error which i just wanted to let you know system update keeps stopping i got this error a lot of times not every time when i use my device it i just got this error after a reboot or as you can see after turn, turning on my wi-fi after some time this is the error which i got but not sure as I previously told you, it comes with the rise tweaks. So rise tweaks are quite good, but will only work if you have Magisk installed. And yes, in my case, I have installed the Magisk latest version. So as it requires the root access, so all these rise mode features are working fine. I tried and these are working fine. In status bar, you have some little bit of things options available, like the status bar peak option available here with a double tap to sleep, clock position, and some little bit of things. It mainly consists of some colors related customizations, which you can adjust, of course, if you go for the notifications, expanded notification options, is one of the perfect features it also includes very interesting features let me show you by going into miscellaneous i have these options secure screenshots and enable all rotations these are one of my favorite features and these are available in this rise tweaks option so this seems to be really good also it comes with the call recording and with the wi-fi volt etc i didn't got any issues but the volt uh, the calling video calling was not working with the carrier video calling in my airtel the carrier video calling was not working i tried that but not sure if it will work for you or not moving on to other things let's take a brief look at some one percent cool features which you get here by default like if you go for these customizations as i previously told you wallpapers etc which you get here the cyberpunk theme is available here display includes adaptive brightness sleep and if you go for the advanced options the screen calibration sometimes doesn't work i tried that in advance it sometimes work it sometimes does not work it takes a lot of time to adjust all these things i tried that and didn't got any kind of things which were working so you need to these you need to keep these things in your mind also in my whatsapp i got some issues if you want to use the whatsapp web then you might feel some you might face some issues the camera will not work maybe it will work for you i tried with some other user that was working fine there but in my case it was not working you can see it has a vision comfort option available here which is a kind of kind of a reading mode as you can see you can simply adjust that and some things it will take some time 
some things are perfectly working fine but some things are not good as i previously shown you the battery backup does not seems to be really good so these things you need to keep in mind other things has uh, the same things as i previously told you 11 percent plus screen on 11 uh, percent per hour plus kind of battery drainage which is more than enough status validated customizations you already know some one plus rated things are already available here sound and vibration buttons and gesture and if you go for here face lock as always not working the camera will on but the, the face will not detect there which means the face lock is not working so these are the things which you need to keep in mind battery related things i already shown you accounts digital well-being google etc utilities also includes the parallel apps the work-life balance option is available here too other things are quite good app locker as expectedly available here system also includes the multiple user developer options and all these things you also get the power of option available here which you don't get in all other custom rooms and at last this one is the thing which i just wanted to let you know one plus eight android 11 base the first update for the redmi note 8 and 8t users you want to install it you need to install a zip file and the zip file link is in the description you can simply go and download that the google apps etc are included you need to magis you need to install magisk on your own how to install that just boot into custom recovery once and with, let me get back to you very soon okay so what kind of custom recovery which you need is of course the orange fox custom recovery in my case i'm using orange fox latest custom recovery and as you just saw that the encryption is there which means encryption is working perfectly fine with the latest oxygen os how to install it it's very easy and basic for all the users but let me know let me show you all these things first let's go in this section here you'll see all the main things that will be catch system vendor data just click here swipe to wipe it will take some time to wipe and after that what you need to do is just go here and uh, here you need to select the file where we have in my case i have this file in my sd card in rooms and files folder and here i have the oxygen os 11 op8 ob5 note 8 80.zip so just click here it will take some time to install so just wait for the installation to happen and you will see oxygen os is gonna install very very soon and after that if required you can simply format data of course it's required so you need to format data and you're good to go very easy to install and this was all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video as always and thanks for watching Goodbye.